Hey guys, welcome back to another Mythic Legions review. We're taking a look at Vorthog from the Arathir Wave. On the back of the package, we have that new artwork from the Arathir Wave, along with some lore on the Mythic Legions universe. The side has a picture of Vorthog, along with a few paragraphs on the lore on the figure. Mythic Legions all come in collector-friendly packaging, easy to remove the figure and accessories without having to break the package. Vorthog is a powerful warlord put in charge to train the legions of Arathir's orc warriors. His knowledge of combat and experience in battle makes him one of the greatest fighters in the orc race. He was also responsible for the training of the orc Urzok, raising his status from an unnamed orc warrior to general of the legions of Arathir. While Vorthog serves the legion's army, he secretly aligns himself with Queen Urgza, who wishes to reclaim the orc race back from the legions of Arathir. Let's take a look at the details. The bright green skin of the orc head is filled with blemishes and discoloration contrasted by the bright yellow eyes. We can see the wrinkles in the forehead and the brows along with the long beard giving the orc an aged look. We can see more wrinkles on the face from the side along with the large pointed ears. On the chest we have new armor from the Arathir series. Large silver plates with scratches and scuffs leaving black scrapes are held up together with large bronze rivets. We continue with the worn out armor on the back where we can notice large sockets for the shoulder armor that we will be using later in the review. The orc shoulders have a blend of dark and light skin tones on the shoulder muscles. We have a large spiked orcish style wrist guards along with bare hands with black nails. A large belt buckle decorated with a large centerpiece with silver rivets holds up plates of armor and chainmail. On the side we can see the cracked leather wrapping around the figure with more plates of dark armor hanging down from it. A small bronze decorative plate is at the center with silver studs. Underneath the chainmail we can see the muscular green thighs of the orc. On the legs we have the standard orcish style armor with spiked edges worn out with dents and scratches. We finish up the detail of the figure with the feet. We have black nails and a tone definition on the green foot. Let's take a look at the articulation. We have a ball jointed head, shoulders that open and rotate, elbows that bend and rotate, a rotating forearm, wrists that bend up and down and rotate, a ball jointed chest, legs that bend forward, open and back, rotating thighs, knees that bend back and rotate, Ankles that bend up and down and rotate with a rotating foot. Let's take a look at the accessories we get. We get a faceless style orc helmet in a lighter steel color and the painted striped chin. To install the head you can swap out the original and pop in the new head with a tight fit. We get a new style of spiked shoulders unique to this figure matching the paint of the body. To install the shoulders, you simply match the peg with the socket on the back. The shoulder armor can rotate for better shoulder articulation. We get a pair of orcish colored hands with the sharp black nails. The hands can be pulled off the figure with a bit of force, and then be socketed in the same way. We get a pair of armored orcish style boots. The feet can be removed with a bit of pulling while the replacement can peg right into the socket. We get a small brown pelt of cloth fur. To install the fur, you have to completely remove the torso. Once it's off, you can layer the fur, then additional pieces of armor. We get an elven style shield painted in a dark steel with red gems and bronze rivets. The back of the shield comes in a 2.0 style grip. We get a large warhammer in a dark steel color with bronze rivets. And we get a dwarven style sword in a dark steel color. We get a pair of wing adapters that we will not be using. And we get a 1.0 style brown belt to fit the larger figures. Vorthog is an amazing figure in more ways than one. He's using the latest armor pieces from the Arathir wave, making him truly unique and stand out from all the other orc characters. The colors on the figure are amazing with the new steel armor parts looking worn out, brushed with details in the paint and sculpting. The figure is loaded with accessories as well, letting you customize a ton of the figure right out of the box. Accessory wise, we get so many new parts to work with, the value is definitely there for this figure. 
The additional hands are a nice touch, and while the open palm hands can't really hold anything, they do look great by themselves. The alternate head having painted details is a nice touch too, turning this character either into a named hero or another legion builder. The fur is a nice detail too, pushing this figure just to be even more of a unique orc. I honestly didn't expect an extra pair of boots, but it's nice to have a spare as well. Overall, a must have for the orc collectors out there. Vorthog is the first of the new series of orcs to come out with the newer pieces of Mythic Legion's armor. His aged face and beard build the story just at a glance of the figure, and you know that he's been around for a while. Four Horsemen Studios did an amazing job in the orc, giving him a unique look. He's definitely worth picking up just for the value of the parts alone, but a definite must have for collectors of orcish armies. I definitely regret passing up on this figure the first time around. Alright guys, that's it for this review. More reviews are coming up soon, so check out my other videos while you wait.